What's the most not safe for work thing you've experienced in a professional situation? I had a manager in a call center in 1999-2000. She would sometimes have one-on-one -on -one meetings with employees in her office. During a meeting with me she was wearing a short dress skirt. Uncrossed her legs in a way where I could see she wasn't wearing underwear and had a landing strip. I'm pretty sure she noticed that I noticed. But I don't think she was doing it on purpose. I once saw a girl sit down on the floor in one of the cubicles and show everyone her clit ring. I was getting a physical for school and had to take my gown off for the hernia part that same second his phone rang and he answered it and I'm standing there butt naked while he talks on the phone for 10 minutes. I worked at a KFC. We had a nasty ex stripper that worked there and a horny manager. She wanted to go home early so they agreed that she could if he got to finger pop her asshole. They did it right behind the chicken warming case. I quit about a week later. I was working for an international company and we were rolling out video conferencing equipment. We had the far end system in the London office on and connected. It was like 9 p.m. there, for testing. The monitor was off there. But the camera wasn't. I was looking at network traffic when I heard voices. Looked up and saw an exec and his male assistant. Went about my business when my co-worker walked in and said hey stupid change. Did you get the what the fuck? Exec had dropped to his knees and started going at it. On our 60 monitor. I quickly killed the connection. And I still don't know if my side was muted or not. But if it wasn't it was probably pretty funny with some dude getting a beach and the a sudden voice coming through from nowhere. When I was 19 I worked for a quick oil change place and I had a woman sit in her car and change every stitch of clothing while I stood there and wrote down her information. First startup I worked at in the 90s, just a few of us, ran meetings by having the note taker use a sheet of paper placed over a playboy. If the note taker started flipping through the magazine, the meeting wasn't interesting enough and was declared over. Worked in an office about 10 years ago. On a weekend once when we were closed. But I needed to catch up on a couple of projects I decided to jerk off at my desk, young and horny. Finished and double wrapped the tissue for flushing on the way out. Not a minute later. A work colleague walked in thank fuck. That was close I thought and told him I'm off home and I'll see him on Monday. On my way out after I was done in the toilet I realized I had forgotten my phone so walked back into the office to see him at his desk jerking off. Was fixing someone's computer. Found about 35 gigs of child porn. Called the cops and called the dude saying his computer was fixed and ready for pickup. He showed up at the store with the sheriff waiting just inside. Removed. My coworker lightly brushes my junk and slaps my ass whenever she gets the chance. I'm not interested in her but I do like the attention. I used to work in a sign shop that specialized in vehicle wraps. My coworkers were always fucking around. And one of them must have lost a bet or something. I walked around a tour bus we were wrapping. And I saw him standing on the scissor lift. Applying the wrap to the bus. Wearing only his work belt and shoes. In my company we have live video in every conference room. If a meeting is scheduled between two rooms. Then the live conference connects automatically and the two rooms are both on live video. Anyone in the company can schedule this. Well we were in a meeting that ended and the next meeting connected. Turns out the people in the room for the next meeting did not know this and were in a very not safe for work activity. The whole executive team watched in shock what was happening in the 100 inch screen in front of them. They still have jobs. But that will haunt them forever. There was a guy and a girl. Not in a relationship. That used to regularly go into the sick bay around lunchtime for 10-20 minutes. She was a bit loud. Everyone nearby knew when they were in session. Work in the NICU. Walked in on a mom and dad snorting mom's pain pills off the medical cart. Go figure their child was also born addicted to methadone. Immediate reporting done. Deleted. In Brazil. We have this WhatsApp joke where they put some random video with the audio of Alexis Texas moaning very loud. Once I was on a kinda serious meeting and my boss got caught in one of those jokes. 
Needless to say that everyone laughed and took a five-minute break before resuming the meeting. Walked in on two people having sex in the break room. They claimed they hated each other and they ended up together. Some patient at the hospital comes out of his room wearing jeans. With a boner protruding through the open zipper. The people he walked past on that floor were too in shock to say anything to the guy. So he strolls onto the elevator and heads down to the lobby. Full mast. Goes to the cafeteria. Picks out some food. Then security finally makes it to the guy while he is waiting in the checkout line. Think he got a psych consult after that. Deleted. While I was on cash at McDonald's during a warm summer day I had a 40-ish hot ass milf of a customer practically flash me to see if I would give her any free. She was only wearing a bikini top and shorts and she started pulling it to the side. I was so shocked I had no response but her GF, I'm guessing, got her to stop. It took like 5 minutes before I could think again. I was in HS at the time. I worked at a restaurant and one of the hostesses would talk about having anal beads in while working and how she came when she walked around the restaurant. During my clinicals to become a paramedic I saw two nurses and a doc go into a room together. Thought nothing of it until I went into that room to get something and they were having themselves a good old fashioned three way. I wasn't sure what to do so I did the mature thing and tried to gossip amongst the other nurses. They all already knew about it. Apparently the three of them actually lived together. Girlfriend's co-worker walked in on the boss son jacking off in the supply closet. They lock eyes and the son just goes. Oh shit. Co-worker backed out and closed the door. Son moved away. Haha. <laughs> Executive at a major billion dollar tech corporation got fired after a Vegas marketing conference. At a huge party where CEO and major officers were in attendance as well as some celebrities. He grabbed a video camera from the marketing team. He was executive. They kind of had to give it to him. And he proceeded to go into the ladies restroom and walk along past all the stalls with the camera above the doors pointing down. He had to have been completely lit. He was gone the next day. Not really a professional situation but it was on the job zoo. But in college I was a delivery boy for Domino's and I had to run through a parking garage staircase to get to these apartments. I busted through the door to the stairwell and almost hit some high school kid getting a BJ. Didn't really want to be a buzzkill so I just gave them a quick noise e and kept running lol. I was 50 something working in a middle school as the network computer tech and got a blow job from a 30 something social studies teacher in her room. At her desk. During one of her planning periods. Edit. She was also the cheerleading coach. I was on call at the hospital one night during my residency. I get called at about 3 a.m. for a disturbance in a patient's room. I walk down the hall and hear some screaming and a bunch of nurses standing outside this patient's room. As I get to the door I see the patient standing in the corner. Covered in her own poop. Legs bent and arm up her gown. This woman was pulling out poop from her butt and throwing it at nurses and whoever tried to get near her. I nope the hell out of there. She eventually ran out of poop and I have a phone order for some meds to put her down. I felt bad for the housekeeping crew that night. They were up to their elbows in poop. Edit. Spelling and RIP inbox. Edit 2. Well. My top comment of all time has to do with flinging poop. Thanks Reddit. Much love. I do hotline support so this person calls me for help and I take over his computer remotely. I realize I need a driver so I open his browser. You know those top 9 visited websites that's your start page in Chrome? All porn. Other customer. Similar thing. Remote control his computer. He needed software installed so I help him get the necessary dependencies. I open browser. Type G for Google and see half a dozen websites that start with gang. Just kept typing. Got a bunch of Chinese customers. Half of them wants to gamble so I bring them to the casino. The other half wants to fuck so I bring them to a brothel. Waited in the lobby. Talking to a half naked woman. Gave her 20 for her time. I was staying in Newport RI remodeling a house and the tenant downstairs was a very beautiful medical supply saleswoman. 
We had a dumpster on site and she asked me if she could throw away a few bags of trash. Sure. No biggie. My boss was stomping on the trash to make some room and a bag tore open. It was full of dildos. Dozens. He lined them up on the dumpster. A few still worked. Buzzing along. We found an order form for a whole new bunch of dildos. She must have been a freak. I couldn't let her find them sitting there. Two of us were staying on the second floor while we were working there. She was a quiet girl and it obviously would have been awful. I covered them up with trash. 20 years of great spank bank material though. She was gorgeous. Throw away because we still work there. I guess it was the time my coworker and I hooked up in the break room. Most of the company was out on a conference and the few who remained went out to lunch. I had no idea he even liked me. I had a huge crush on him. I was leaning over to get coffee and as he brushed by me I felt his crotch against my ass. I'm not usually so daring. But I thought fuck it and shoved my tongue in his mouth. Surprisingly. He felt the same way. We were too nervous to go all the way. But I did get Fingerbanged to orgasm. I also blew him. He was just about to come when we heard our co-workers coming back from lunch. Poor guy. So yeah. Most not safe for work thing for me was getting fingered by my co-worker in the break room and then blowing him to almost completion. Nice try HR department. I'm not falling for that again. When I worked at fast food place a crew member could toss a quarter down my shirt from like 10 feet away even with the top button done up. I got to keep the quarter once I pulled it out of my bra. I haven't worked at very many professional places. Used to work in a porn store. Had to kick someone out for peeing on the floor in a viewing booth. Edit. Did not expect this to become my post popular comment to date. Matched with a girl on Tinder. Who was my patient a few hours prior. Did not recognize her. Or connect the dots when I swiped right. She did. When I was 16 I was working at McDonald's. I got put on a Saturday morning shift which started at 5 a.m. I couldn't sleep and ended up arriving to work that morning at about 4.25 a.m. I noticed the manager's car and one of my co-workers car was already there. So I figured I'd just head in and sit around in the break room until 5. Walked in and heard them in the bathroom fucking. Manager was a woman about 35. Other employee was a guy about 18. I just went back to my car and pretended I never knew about it. About a month later I asked for a Saturday off for homecoming. And she said no. So I casually said. I'm going to take it off anyways. Or else I'll let Todd, store manager, know about you and Bill. She gave me the day off. Getting a blowjob from an HP representative while working in procurement in a government job. She was pretty and gave a great blowjob. But we went with Dell. They are more reliable and have a better warranty service. At a work retreat. I went into the hotel hot tub late at night. The tub was empty except for another couple. The woman was being fingered. They left before I could get acquainted. Deleted. Walked in on two people having sex on a desk after hours. Deleted. While in an interview something came up about cameras not being in the room we were in. The guy says to me. Yeah. We could be butt fucking in here and no one would know. I work in a sport products retail. We have a golf shot simulator in order to try different clubs and balls and study the player's technique. One day a young couple start to shoot balls. Boyfriend prepares the gesture while his girlfriend stares. So the golf club went back and impacted violently against her face. Resulting in a completely disintegrated jaw. Lots and lots of blood and teeth everywhere. I will never forget the boyfriend's face after the accident. Attending his fainted girlfriend. So pale and scared. Lifeless gaze. Emergencies came and took care of her very quick and went to hospital. One of WTF moments in my work time. For sure. TL. Doctor at a golf simulator in a sports store. A man accidentally destroyed girlfriend's jaw with a club. 18 years old. Job interview to be a server at famous Dave's BBQ. I wore a strapless dress. Looked super cute. 
The manager was a 40-something-year-old guy. He ran through the job's details and answered my questions. We stood up to shake hands and seal the deal. When I shot up excitedly from my seat, radiating a big thankful smile, my feet were stepping on the front of the bottom of my dress. The dress went down to my hips and I just stood there. All perky tits in his face and whatnot. I got a blowjob from my manager while she was on a conference call with all the other managers in the region and the regional manager. Then again I don't know if a movie theater is especially professional. Manager I worked with often said some really sexual things to me. Despite being a gay dude. I'm female. Made me wonder if he was hetero curious. Another manager implied he was into bondage like heavy master slave play while we were working together on something. Good times. Co-worker's boyfriend dropped her off at work and the two of them asked me if he could experience giving a guy a blowjob and offered to give me one as I was the only bisexual guy they knew. Guy from work randomly telling me about his hot cousin and how when he was around her he would have to put a pillow on himself to cover up. There are other weird things he says to me. I guess he thinks he can get away with it since I am new and 23 and he is 55 but his weird remarks sometimes get to me. Used to work at a warehouse for an online retailer that sold literally everything. Including sex toys. Given the juvenile sort that generally worked there. A lot of snickers and guffaws were had. We also had safety issues where pickers desperate to make rate would turn corners in aleways without stopping and looking and ran the risk of running into or over people. An inventive solution was crafted whereby a very large lifelike dildo with a suction cup base was attached at the end cap of an aleway at roughly head height. Thereby ensuring that pickers disobeying the stop and look rule would get smacked in the face by a dick. A lady had a yoga ball which had a dildo apparatus on it. She would always wear skirts to work and I guess ride the beast all day. Well one day she had to leave rather quickly and forgot to turn the thing over so the dildo portion was hidden. She left the next day. Had sex with an ex at her place of employment. After hours. It wasn't even a this was a hard day. I need some hard dick kinda scenario. She actually drove us to her office to bone. Edit. Holy shit. My most upvoted comment ever is about working a former girlfriend at work. Also. We were dating at the time. I'm a respiratory therapist. Who's worked in both hospitals and home care. So. A lot. I had a code on a 26 year old who wasn't wearing a helmet while snowmobiling. She did not make it. The hospitalist on duty came down and into the ed room. He lifted the sheet. Looked. Said she's young and walked out. Not bad. Right. He was lifting the sheet at her waist. Not her head. A woman I worked with one day just came right up to me and started grinding on me because she wanted a favor. And figured that was the best way to get me to comply. It wasn't. Spoiler. A professor feeling my ass and crotch in his lab. He also tried to kiss me and kept on telling me how much he wanted to see me naked. It was as creepy as it sounds. I caused one at an electronics repair shop back in the 90s. Back in the Philippines. We had two separate voltages for our power outlets. 110V and 220V. So you had to be really careful where you plugged your shit. I had basically plugged our VHS player in the 220V socket. Frying it completely. Long story short. My mom brings it into the shop to get fixed. When my mom came back to pick it up. The shop offered to test it. Saying there's already a tape in here anyway. Unfortunately. It was a hentai video I forgot to take out. And it was playing on the big screen at the front of the shop. With my horrified mother looking on. Police officer here. Got a call of a screaming woman. Get to location. Knock on door and nobody answers. We kick in door due to woman possibly in trouble. We find man and woman in bedroom naked. We explain why we got the call and both don't wanna talk about the screaming or why they wouldn't answer the door. We thought we had some kind of sexual assault. Woman finally comes clean and tells us and I quote okay I was screaming. I wasn't being attacked. He's my boyfriend. He asked to put it in my ass and I finally agreed. It was my first time and I screamed because it hurt like hell. 
Probably most awkward call I've ever had. Got walked in on while Eiffel Towering a server in the walk-in. Somehow kept my job. I work in a scrap metal yard in a small town. Years ago there was a prostitute that would show up on payday every week for these two guys working there. One day she doesn't show up but her friend does. These women were on the budget side as far as prostitutes go and right in front of the office and everybody. This woman takes off her shirt. Every either walks away or looks away but this new kid was trying so hard to just ignore the situation that it was hilarious in itself because he just kept picking stuff up and throw it where it needed to go never missing a beat while this woman is trying her hardest to get him to look. Thankfully that craziness stopped. Now we just have idiots trying to defrost a leaky propane tank with an oxyacetylene torch. The doofus sales guy told us he was dating a somewhat famous model, like not supermodel famous, but famous enough to make it into the gossip what are they wearing pages of newspapers and magazines. We were all like yeah, sure you're dating her. So a few weeks later he comes in with photographs, actual photos. This was before everyone had digital cameras of the somewhat famous model sitting naked atop the big boss desk in our office. She subsequently turned up in the office once or twice, fully clothed, to meet him for lunch or whatever. Three weeks after I starting working at Walmart, a woman crushed her fingers in the trash compactor during my shift. Half the employees ran to her aid. Management's response was to fire her as EMTs were extracting her hand and treating her wound. Deleted. Parent of a child on my class showed up for an IEP meeting with me. The principal. Guidance counselor. And learning support teacher in a very short skirt. Which is fine but she was wearing no underwear and propped on leg on a smaller chair next to her and one leg on the ground. Everything was in view. Everything. It was surreal. Not me but one of my buddies. He's a personal trainer and between sessions he'd have some downtime. Anyway. His gym would often have interns and it was like shooting fish in a barrel. He went into a back office and had sex. And from what I'm told it was pretty freaky sex. Got called into the head manager's office the next day. With a girl. And was informed that the office was wired for video and sound. They played the whole thing in front of him and her. The worst part is when they were picking which desk to do their business on. They chose the HR manager because they both hated her and clearly verbalized this in the video. He got fired that day. Hot girl at my work flashed her bra at me while walked past each other coming around a corner. You'd think I would have realized that she wanted to fuck. But I assumed this and every other hint she gave me was a joke. Well in my previous job I occasionally wrote scripts to erotic karmic strips. And often I'd try to look up images to reference various poses I was mentioning so the artist could get them right. So basically my job was to browse porn occasionally. I also often worked with our gallery. Which was in itself quite not safe for work. I don't think it counts. But I boned a couple girls in offices I used to work in. But always way after everyone was gone and always behind locked doors. At the boarding school where I used to work. A 14 year old boy was caught having a wank while watching. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. At a job interview for insurance sales the woman interviewing me just opened her legs giving me a wide view of her goodies. Got the job. When I worked at a movie theater. I saw guests having sex. At the liquor store a few days ago. It was my birthday and a customer bought me a bottle of tequila. Gave me his business card. And Carest would not let go of my hand when I gave him his receipt. Said he would masturbate to me later. Blowies in the chemical closet at the pool I worked at. Now I have a thing for those red lifeguard one pieces. Working in IT. Found a guy who had co-opted servers at the office and was using them to run porn sites. When confronted by HR, he claimed, there's nothing in the use policies, ETC, that forbid this. He fought getting fired, and won, because he was right. There was nothing that said it was against the rules. Rules were quickly drafted up. Dumbass did it again. Got caught, again, and was fired. 
He then tried to claim we were harassing him off his sexual orientation. That didn't last long. On 420 last year my boss offered me weed. I had just started working there. Definitely didn't seem like the type. No. Just pulled out a pencil case full of weed baggies and asked if I wanted one since we were all leaving work early. This was an office job too. My boss told my coworker. We don't hire black people or women because they don't work as hard. No one wants to say it but you and I know these are facts. Unrelated. He fired me and charged me $600 for a company laptop that he claims he leased me even though at the time it was bought for me he used words like gift and reward and I never signed any terms of use. Really just a shitty guy. Edit. Forgot to mention he didn't pay me for my last week of work. I organize orgies and sex parties. I've pretty much seen it all.